Good afternoon. I'm Robert Picard. Thanks for your time today and opportunity to present Spectrum and our solutions to you. Let's get started. First, I want to go over our agenda today. Uh, I want to kind of talk about some introductions, uh, review our executive summary, talk a little bit about Spectrum Enterprise, uh, business drivers for your business, the technology drivers for your business, uh, some of the industry, industry uh, trends and drivers that we're seeing out there. And then obviously we'll get to our solutions portfolio and then we'll talk about next steps. Don't know if there's anything you want to add to the agenda, but that's, uh, that's the agenda we have uh, slated for today. As far as um, introductions, uh, as I said, my name is Robert Pecora. I'm uh, the uh, Enterprise uh, Account Executive with uh, Spectrum. I uh, work with Fiber and Data, Fiber Data Voice, Data and Voice uh, Solutions, and also Spectrum's Advanced Services. I work with clients whose businesses can't afford downtime because outages cost company money, and uh, when, we're, when we're losing, when we're losing business, it costs us customers, and that's not what we want. Let's first start review our executive summary. Our executive summary again, uh, you know, again, thanks for the opportunity to propose to Carolina Federal Credit Union. Uh, the following proposal will outline the products and services that you requested us, and this will aid you in your decision to uh, the carrier of your choice uh, going forward. One thing I wanted to cover um, in the executive summary also is is, our, is is Spectrum's mission statement. I know, I'm sure Carolina Federal, uh, Carolina Foothills Federal Credit Union has a mission statement. We do as well, and I, and I think it's important I want to kind of share with you. Maybe it would uh, tell a little bit about who we are. And uh, so our mission statement, I'm gonna read it, is to integrate the highest quality service with clearly superior entertainment and communications products that consistently exceed the expectations of our growing customer base. And I also want to talk about our values. We want our, we want our folks to be an expert in the field, work with integrity and promote teamwork, earn the respect of your coworkers and the trust of our customers, and finally, to pursue growth and learning. So I want to kind of put that out there and that's, uh, that's our mission statement, our values that we, uh, we, we operate here on, the, uh, on that spectrum. Who we are, Spectrum is a part of Charter Communications. We always toss the word around Charter, are you, are you Charter Communications? Are you Spectrum? Spectrum is the brand, Spectrum is Spectrum is the brand that, that Spectrum Enterprises is part of Charter Communications. We, as I mentioned, we provide network, cloud, and IT infrastructure, uh, managed services, and we also serve a nationwide network. Uh, last year, uh, we, we have joined Collective Powers with uh, Time Warner, uh, Bright House Networks, and Charter Communications all became one company. And uh, that's uh, so when we talk about Spectrum Enterprise, that is the name of all the Time Warner, Bright House Networks, and Spectrum all together. We have a nationwide coverage. Uh, we have a strong, also a Type 2 uh, environment out there where if there are other areas that we cannot reach, we use Type 2 providers and um, all over the United States. One of the things that this acquisition did for us is take us from 28 states to 41 states. Obviously, the, you know, we're looking to connect business to opportunity. We use the, uh, the, the, I mean, the best fiber out there, dense fiber reaching nationwide, as we talked about going from 41 states, whether it be with, with us directly or with our type two providers. And we're always using the best technology out there, next, genera next generation technology and expertise. One of the things I'm also going to talk about is our commitment to quality. With fiber, um, we have unparalleled SL SLAs. Um, one of the other, thing, the other things I'd like to brag on is our network operations center. Fiber, um, if, you, if there are ever any issues, uh, one of the things we talk about here at Spectrum is one number to call. That one number to call is our network operations center, which we'll talk more about having Cisco trained reps, and being able to either uh, fix your problem virtually, or if we've got a roll track, we can do that. But uh, just that one number to call on a sonic ticket taking system, and that's important. And again, award leading uh, industry leader, third largest U.S. Uh, Ethernet provider. Very, very proud of that. And uh, so, uh, again, those are just uh, some, of, some, of, some of the ways we do business here at Spectrum. Together, we can make it happen. Uh, one thing is, as we as we continue our relationship, I want to um, talk more and take a deeper dive into your business drivers. Um, you know, let's learn about 
you know, what, do, what does success look like for you? What are the drivers you are using to measure success? And what else can Spectrum do to reach business goals that maybe you aren't reaching today? And how can we partner and kind of uh, deliver that partnership and kind of reach those goals that you're expecting? Also, I want to talk about your technology initiatives. How are you running your business today? How are you growing it for tomorrow, technology-wise? And how, is, how will the technology that you're using today increase your revenue while also lowering total cost of ownership? One of the things I also have on number two is identifying core constraints and challenges. Um, working with companies like yourself, working with leaders like yourself, one of the things that I hear so often is some of the struggles that so many companies are having or, or opportunities is that they're wanting to increase productivity um, or they're wanting to minimize the risk. They're wanting to manage change. Each one of these, all, the, the three are a list that are the most common ones that I hear out there may not be yours. There may be another challenge or opportunity that you're having, but these are the kind of constraints and challenges we want to talk about and, and help you and partner with you and uh, allow everyone to kind of get better. So uh, again, we'll talk more about this as our, as our relationship develops, but I uh, just want to kind of set the table. Then the other thing I want to do is uh, as we kind of put some, some teeth into, the, uh, to, into our meetings, we want to talk about the challenges and solutions summary. A couple of things you guys told me just briefly uh, as we spoke before this meeting today was you're struggling with the reliability of your network and it has major issues with drop calls. One call lost costs you a million dollars and it's not fun when our reps drop a call with million dollar customers. So that's, that's, that's an idea, that's a, just a brief challenge you threw out and we also threw out uh, our proposed solution. And that actually uh, folks to that that specific um, that specific uh, um, opportunity there focused on improving productivity. We may talk to talk. We have another one here where you talked to us about managing managing risk. You told us that you need better reporting for your phone system, more efficient in the field, and manage uh, manage our reps that take calls on a daily basis. Basis, and we kind of talked about how we would do that. We want to talk more about that. There might be three or four or five more that uh, we can kind of continue to talk about and, and work together and solve solutions. Solve problems and then come up with solutions for your business. For business today, as, as we just, just, just saw in the, um, in, the, in the challenges and solutions, for business today, stakes are high. Expectations have rapidly changed inside and outside the organization, that, that's a true statement. Um, slow internet causes pain for our clients or caught. If we can't do it fast enough, then we're going to go to the customers or our clients are going to go to somebody else that can do it faster. If your CRM is down and negatively impacts your customer's experience, um, if your competitor has a faster, more efficient way, then you're going to lose business. We're losing business, we're losing market share, we don't need to lose market share. And then you, know, then you talk about the internal morale, the internal morale of the employee when maybe when systems are, aren't going well or they're here, they're, you know, that's, uh, we want to kind of keep them around employees and uh, make sure they're connecting, communicating, collaborating anywhere, anytime. We want to be limited to the office. It's a fast world out there. We want to make our employees active. Business leaders are, let's say, uh, the higher we are, the, we expect IT. We, we want to help our, get our business objectives. And so all these things um, kind of, kind of um, again, that's why when we talk about IT, stakes are high. Technology and expertise designed to master the complexity of today's digital business. Just uh, real, real briefly, here's a list of, this, of the, uh, the services, products and services that Spectrum can provide to you today. Fiber internet access, ethernet and network solutions, we'll talk about voice solutions, TV, uh, managed multi-cloud applications and user computing. One of the things we hear so much is I, I, I like one carrier that can do everything. And Spectrum is that, is that company that can do it all. Move, move data faster insights. Um, everything starts with a strong connection. Let's talk about how we can drive data faster to help you do a couple things here. We want to grow your business as we talked about. We want to be leaders in innovation. We want to provide better customer experience. Better employee collaboration. Uh, we also want to let's put big data into action. So we want to kind of accomplish all I know it's all big, big list, but we want to do as much as we can for you. 
let's start with fiber, fiber internet access. I know right now your headquarters and two other locations are serviced by fiber, but the majority of your sites are actually filled by, are, are serviced by copper. So I want to talk about, I'd like to actually, uh, we, we're, 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 the, the goal is to put all of your sites on fiber. Why? Because fiber is fast, it's dedicated, it's not shared, and it's symmetrical upload and download speeds. It delivers mission critical client experiences and it's scalable. Um, when we put a, a fiber connection into your location, whether it's 20 meg, 50 meg, 100 meg, we provide fiber connection up to, a, up to a gig and very easily to change from 25 meg to 50 meg to 100 meg. The other thing, it is proactively monitored uh, with stringent SLAs. We talked about the SLAs. 99.9% .9 uptime, four hours to restore, and more importantly, so many people had coax before because maybe fiber wasn't available or fiber wasn't affordable. Now it's more available and much more affordable than it was before. Um, you'll just find out with your critical mission, the mission critical application that fiber's the way to go. Again, I talked about the SLAs just briefly. Um, again, proactively monitored. Uh, we talked, here's where we talked about our NOC, you know, uh, the, the services that our NOC provides you, the Network Operations Center. This is what we're tasked to do. The service level agreement puts in writing for you what we say, uh, what we say we'll do and what we will do because we've got it in writing. And if we don't know, if we don't uh, restore your service in four hours, guess what? We owe you money, so we're on the hook. Ethernet services. Uh, Ethernet services, and I've, and I've got a couple things here, I, if you notice the graph, where uh, Spectrum is actually the number three leader in Ethernet services. You have multiple locations, and what we're looking to do is connect your, connect your locations. Uh, we can do this in a couple different ways. One, the one, the one service we talk a lot about is um, EPL, uh, or Ethernet private line, when we're connecting just point A to point B together. In your situation, we're trying to do EP LAN. You have, you know, we have multi-point locations. And um, one of the things I, that I included on this was, here's your network. This is what your network, the network looks today. If you notice a couple of the locations that you have that say unknown oh, carrier, those are what we talked about type two. We're gonna handle it, we're gonna handle the billing, but they're actually being serviced by other providers, but as a type two provider or that are connecting back to us. And then the other location that you see your headquarters down below, and then you have your outline locations where, as we continue to talk, we're talking about different bandwidths that you need. But that's a, a good visio diagram of what your network looks like today. Manage Wi-Fi again. How can I get a company that does it all? We this uh, this a uh, new product for us, and uh, more and more people are you know whether it's. Uh, you're having, you're having guests coming in or you're having employees wanting to stream and um, stream stream access. However, what we can do is uh, opposed to you're, you're seeing Best Buy, Netgear Solutions, let us manage your Wi-Fi. Let us take control and let us let you guys do what you're good at. Um, when we talk about manage Wi-Fi many times, you know, equipment, equipment goes bad, we'll replace it. Um, all for a little monthly price, so that's again, that's something we'll talk about. I'm not going to deep dive into that, but we it is something we do offer. Voice solutions. So while I'm talking about voice, you talked uh, in your in the RF, in the uh, in the information you gave before us the RFP that you're wanting to move to SIP. We'll talk briefly about the difference between premise-based solutions, where the actual phone equipment is in your phone room and hosted voice. Uh, there's pros and cons to each, so there's really not a right or wrong answer. Of going, it's just really what's your preference for, for different uh, solutions. When you talk about enterprise trunking, so enterprise trunking uh, is on premise, so meaning the, the phone uh, the phone equipment is in your closet. You can do either, as we talked about, um, you can do IP based as far as uh, you can do SIP or you can do PRI. Really, the big difference, um, in my opinion, is SIP is more scalable. I'm glad you've I'm actually glad you guys chose or are looking at SIP. I like the fact of adding call pass to SIP versus having to change out PRI cards for PRI. Um, either one has works. Um, as far as one of the other reasons why people go with uh, SIP or PRI is uh, maybe maybe DIDs. Um, 
you know, the you know, the other thing is they uh, they know they, they they may just they just may not be uh, uh, as comfortable with the cloud. They want they want to own the phone system. Um, just a various. There's not a lot of one-off pricing with the uh, enterprise trunking. Um, where you where with phones with the, with the uh, hosted solutions, what you'll find is a more light apps because you're either renting the phones, you're getting you're having to get a seat and. Um, most, uh, some people like it, some people don't. Regarding hosted, can be hosted phones, hosted everything's in the cloud. Um, it's a managed service. If my phone breaks, I get it replaced. Um, more, more kind of uh, people on the go. I can actually take my phone home on my desk, work from home, just like I'm at my network, just like I'm at my office. People like the rich collaboration of features, the instant messaging. The video chat, the mobile phone integration, and also if you're going to do a call center, I see more and more people doing host and call centers, and again, that's something that we do here at uh, Spectrum. One of the other things, and this is obviously a uh, very large, is uh, is very very large opportunity out there is is cloud. You know, a cloud means uh, so many so many different things to so many different people. I talked about the acquisition of uh, Time Warner Cable. I talked to you about the acquisition of Bright House Networks, and with uh, those acquisitions with Time Warner, we also got their third-party provider called Navisite. Navisite, and we talked about the cloud. We talked about um, you know people's comfort with the cloud. Do you want us to manage it all? Do you want to manage it with us, or do you want to man you know, or do you want to manage and just use it for disaster recovery? There's so many different things out there. That the cloud, but I think um, again that's uh, something what we would do is bring in our partners from Navisite, ask specific questions, find out um, you know what's critical, what's your what's your threshold for pain, how quickly do those things have to be spun up, what applications can you do without for X amount of time, how quickly do you need do you need your data? Uh, those are things when you're talking about the cloud. Um, those are some, some things to consider and things we'll take a deeper dive with, but it is something we do. And again, it is something, again, keeping all products under one umbrella or with one company is, uh, that, that again, that's a big advantage for ours. A full portfolio, I talked about some of these core hosting service, managed multi-cloud services, computing service. We're doing a lot with Office 365, Azure, VMware. Um, so these are all some different services that we can kind of handle for you. Finally, you know, I just want to show you. You know, these are some of the some of the names that we're we're working with out there: VMware, Microsoft, Oracle, Cisco, all big and big 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 name players. One of them, one of them, you know, that we that we partner with them on a daily basis. Video solutions you talked about here with Direct TV now, and uh, let's discuss our Spectrum TV solution. Customer always saying, "How can I reduce my vendors?" And have everything with one provider. I think we've, we've talked about that over and over in this presentation. How can I have everything with one provider? And uh, I, what's what so many people want is just that one number to call for everything. And Spectrum can be that one number to call. It can also be that one team for you for all your services. I've got a case study here I want to kind of show you. Um, this is a community bank, uh, very similar to you guys. Carolina Bank enhances high-touch care while streaming security audit procedures. Here's a bank that had a way in Wisconsin, Citizens Bank, had 12 branches of Ethernet LAN, fiber internet, and PRI. You guys are talking about SIP, they, they went PRI. Again, no right or wrong reason to, to choose either. This is just what they chose. Their challenge was they wanted a high-touch, their high-touch client care bank needed telecom infrastructure to support quick client resolution. Multiple tele telecom providers made it hard to deliver an integrated solution. So obviously as we go back to, they wanted that one provider to do it all. So with the results, uh, they, we, we were able to sign them uh, to, uh, to over the spectrum. And now, more effective cost for troubleshooting with consolidated operations. Smoother state and security audits with cybersecurity safeguards, minimal downtime with a superior network and advanced technology tailored to the bank's specific business needs. Again, I wanted to pull a case study that was very similar to you and similar to you know what you what you guys look like today, and uh, that's that's where we're at. Dedicated accounting, 
I mean, we will uh, sign you a dedicated account team. I put a few people here, obviously myself and my boss. Uh, we got a regional sales director and my sales engineer you've met. And, um, and then we've also got a client services people. And just, again, we, uh, we want to be very transparent with you. So if, uh, if I'm not available, you can call anybody on this list. And customer service, I know, is important to you and it's important to us too. And I know for your, uh, for your finance folks in here, uh, hey, everybody wants to know, hey, what's, the, what's, what's your bill look like? This is, this is obviously just a, uh, it's a, it's a customer that doesn't have, obviously, the, one, the, the amount of services you have, but just brief, hey, here's what a bill looks like. Uh, one of the nice things, this one specifically, is that, you know, this, this, this customer has a 25 meg fiber circuit. If you also notice, they don't have any taxes, so it's three ninety nine. One of the things we talked about a lot is we're a cable provider. And because we're a cable provider on fiber internet, we do not have to charge taxes, and that's a great advantage. And so we talk about that a lot. Next steps: How to get started. Uh, together, we can make it happen. And my next steps is to request a site survey. I've got to do a project design, and then uh, I will present a value proposal to you. And uh, then we'll see kind of see where we go from there. If there are any questions? I'd be glad to take them. If not, uh, again, I appreciate your time. And thank you for the opportunity to talk to you about Spectrum and the solutions uh, for Carolina Federal Credit Union. Thanks so much.